everybody, Byron with Auto Break. A lot of people have asked why Auto Break, what is it, how does it work, why does it work? So we're going to touch base on a few of those things. Auto Break is quite simply an electric brake control that mounts on the trailer. We've taken everything that would normally be inside the tow vehicle, put it in one box, it goes on the trailer, put it anywhere you want, any direction, any angle, but it's taken everything out of the vehicle. Um, who wants to use Auto Break? Who would be a good candidate? A lot of people, um, it's not the be-all, end-all of brake controls, but it's, it's certainly a different option. There are a lot of more sophisticated vehicles with electronics in them that people don't like to mess with. People don't want to get into the wiring. They don't want anything installed on the dash, plugged in inside the vehicle or anything to sync. They just want to get in their tow vehicle, tow their trailer and leave. And so that's that would be a perfect candidate. Multi-vehicle families, rentals. Um, once this is on your trailer, it's, it's plug and play. There's nothing that you ever need to do with it along the way. So how does it work? How is it installed? There are five wires to auto brake, brake, power, ground and lights. Just about every trailer electric brakes is going to have a junction box that's easy access. You match all these wires up to the corresponding wires here. Determine where you're going to put your auto brake. One of the beautiful things about this is you can mount any direction, any angle, anywhere. You can go upside down. I've had people put it in a compartment. Anywhere you like. The very first time that you put this on your trailer, you're going to calibrate it. You're only going to calibrate it once. Never again, unless you remove it from the trailer and put it somewhere else. So how do you calibrate have this wired in, plug your tow vehicle and your trailer in, have someone to hold the brake pedal down, and you're going to hold these two buttons down for just a few seconds, let go, and it's going to calibrate. You'll see the light indicate that it's doing so. And once the light stops flashing, it's done. What is calibrating done uh, for this? It's let auto brake know what its new home is. Am I upside down? Am I sideways? Where, where am I? Now that you have that done, we have three settings on the auto brake. They're all weight based, so they'll work on a one, two, and three axle trailer. And we have the weight guidelines in our user's manual. But the way you change the settings is the same way. You're going to have someone depress the brakes in the vehicle. Hold that button down, and this is going to show you which setting it was on. That actually finished calibration. That was what that last flash was. And it's blinking twice and then a pause in between, that's showing you it's on setting two. If you want to change it again, you'll do that one more time. And now it's on setting three, and vice versa. So once you have it on your setting, the auto brake is going to apply the braking proportionally to your vehicle. It is a proportional brake control. What that means is it's the trailer is going to stop the same way your vehicle stops. So you shouldn't feel a pull or a push, whether you're feathering it or slamming the brakes on hard. The last thing is we have a little key fob here, and this is two purposes, or the key fob has two purposes. The first is, let's say you're driving away and you like a little bit more aggressive braking. You're going to lightly apply the brakes on your tow vehicle while you're towing, and you could hold this button up and click it. It's going to increase braking, and if you hold it down, it's going to de decrease braking. This way you can tailor what your preference is. Some people like to have those brakes overpowered, um, so that can be done. Once the setting is established, what you're comfortable with, the auto brake will stay at that same setting continuously. So whether you let your trailer sit for four months in the winter and then hook up again, or you just do it overnight. When you plug in and go to tow, it's going to be on the same exact setting you left it on. One additional thing, the key fob, if you're driving down the road, you want to see if those brakes are working, you can just hold all these buttons at once. It's going to pulsate the brakes. This will also allow you to straighten your trailer out if you do get some trailer sway. So it's kind of twofold. This will do everything it needs to do without the key fob. To throw it out the window, it doesn't matter. This will do everything it needs to do. One last item, the brake lights are what tell the auto brake to do something. So as soon as you apply the brake lights to the vehicle, this knows it needs to stop the trailer in proportion to your tow vehicle. That's what activates it. So when people say, how does it work? That's how it works. Let's say you already have, maybe you have two vehicles and you have a brake controller in one vehicle, a newer truck with something integrated in already. When you plug this trailer in, let's say I loan this trailer to you, I have auto brake on here. If you already have a brake control, as soon as you plug your trailer and, and tow vehicle together, this will pick up on the signal and shut itself off, which is ideal for multi-vehicle families, rentals, just convenience. We want something that was easy, effective. You put it on, plug and tow, auto brake. Check us out, autobrake.com. There's a W in there, A-U-T-O-W-B-R-A-K-E.com. Thanks.